Hello and welcome to the Vintage Aquasium, the program where I show you all the vintage treasures that I found and I want to sell for a profit. Profit for me, goodies for you. Before we start, let's look at the mug of the day, very 90s mug of the day, with a turmeric tea that already is partially drunk because I'm filming this video the second time. Today's video is a haul, haul of the vintage stuff that I found in my one day quest around Scotland, UK. I managed to find an amazing antique shop and I bought a lot of goodies and I will show you them now. In the mystery antique mall you can find trolls, hissing cats, too expensive, heavy spaghetti pottery donkey and even heavier carved stone owl with friends and not my style bowl disturbing charles and diana owl who has seen things here is extremely good quality camera work one of the seven dwarfs this is a sexy one vases with weird bandage like textures cool old books and lots of weight figurines Viking boats, Ports Marion pottery, and Bermuda pottery that looks like Blue Mountain pottery. Amazing Italian vases and the grapes worth touching. Decoupage lamps faking ceramic and Chinese purple clay teapots. There are also Chinese plates with wonky paint job. EPG Campbell and John's plate or a lookalike. Few skirt Scotty dogs and seductive frogs orange handsome teddy bear and human limbs smiling very manly jug and filthy cabana vase swirly vases tiny mugs and huge west german pottery vases like huge something for western fans and disturbed owl fans there are some unique pieces and some common ones juicy oranges lamp work creatures and fairy lamps including satin rosaline candy stripe from fenton for only 20 dollars pounds pounds cool shaped bottles and spooked lions and spooked fluffy dogs lots of pure kitsch some old brass and lots and lots and lots of vintage and antiques paradise Let's start from this beautiful, big, good size abalone shell. It will look amazing in a bathroom for your soap, for your tampons. I recommend you to put unused ones in the bedroom with your bracelets, earrings, or in the kitchen with all the rings when you're washing the dishes. On this side is beautifully shiny pixie fairy tale like colors. On this side is like rough ocean old. Ooh. Shiny, not shiny, shiny, not shiny. Imagine this in your home. Imagine it. You imagining? Please buy. The next things are these. Six handmade Chinese style soup spoons. Each of them have different pattern and each of them have a little bit more wonky look. So they are not identical. They are handmade from the very beginning to the end. This is porcelain, bisque, and here is glaze. They are very fragile. They make this horrible noise that you think that they're going to break, but they are pretty sturdy. They are unique, they are different, and they are more on the artsy side. I have a thing for artsy things, handmade things, so I really love them. I was drawn to them. Good find. And another good find that I'm toying with the idea of keeping is this. Hand embroidered butterfly is it cross stitch i don't think so but it is handmade and i absolutely love how realistic it looks all the colors are the same as in real butters 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 butterflies so it is something different usually you can see the butterfly or butters being more on the colorful side the brown colors are perfect for my flat so i'm still thinking what to do with it should i keep it or not keep an eye on the vintage equation shop you might find it there very soon or not and now something that i am listing in my shop small funky ikebana vase when i found it it was very very filthy i give it a good wash and it changed the whole colors it's nice teal color now it's very shiny 
beautifully smell of the cleaning products. It's not marked, but it is something unusual. And I bet you like unusual things. That's why it's for you here. This is quite nice. When I saw it, I thought it's a planter. One of these planters that you have to put plant in different planter because it does have holes here. But then after a closer examination, I realized it's a candle holder. You can see candle stand. So it will give you a nice illumination. <laughs> Illuminating. It's marked DH, Handmade Studio Pottery piece. Perfect for autumn, perfect for spring, summer and winter. Perfect for you. Ah. And now something that can bring a value, that can bring money. Something that I paid only 15 pounds for. But the moment I saw it, I knew exactly what it is. And it is a panther. This porcelain panther was made in Poland by a company Chmielów. They made all the porcelain tableware. They used to make a lot of figurines. This one is from 1960. It does have all the numbers. Nowadays, Chmielów resuscitated their figurines collection. They still make them because they are very collectible. You can buy them with certificate paper. It looks a little bit like Komodo dragon, a little bit like a weasel, but it is panther. <sighs> These two I will definitely sell. At least I will try. Maybe someone will buy them. And I think they are worth buying because they are very nice, very unique, very old. I have two of these, a pair of urns. They are brass. You can open the top and see that something was held inside. Were they human ashes or plants? I would say plants. There's no bad vibes from them. I have them for a while now, nothing extraordinary happened from them. If you have a closer look, you will notice that they do have a little bit different patterns here on the stripes, tops and other parts, exactly the same carvings. There is some wear and tear. For example, here is a little bit of dent plus a hole. On the second one, there is also a hole. Unfortunately, because of this also, you cannot keep flowers in it. You can keep dead flowers dead flowers in urns. Perfect! Also now it looks like a French person with a beret. French. Next thing is set of these two bowls. They are set but not set. Both of them are made in Iceland. This one is Glit, this one is Funi. So they are a little bit different on the base but here they are made in the same technique. You can entertain your guests with a salad here. You can put some water for your cat. You can use it as an underplate for a plant. You can use it also as a hat. Another beret one. Beret, beret, French. And now this little brass vase. When I saw it, I knew I have to have it. It's not very valuable object. The beads here are not real stones. It does have some tarnish here. I didn't clean it at all. I decided to leave it the way it is. It's not French. This one, no. This extremely disturbing seal I'm keeping, at least for now. I do collect these disturbing seals and this particular one is with me because of their eyes. The eyeballs are very close to each other. Thanks for this, the seal knows exactly what's going on around it. These seals are covered in real fur. We can only be happy that this type of art is not common nowadays, but as a relic of the past, I like it, especially that this one had a brain surgery. So I decided I will keep it and give it a new home. The power of seal! I took these two things. I decided that everyone need one. That's why I have two. Everyone need one. That's why we have only two. These are little trinket dishes made of real carved stone. Onyx, this one. For your rings, for your jewelry, whatever you need, this one will look great. And the second one, I'm not sure what kind of stone is this one. It is a little bit bigger here. You can put whatever you want. Very necessary in your household. And the last thing from the antique shop is this bowl. 70s orange vibrant bowl. You are very mistaken. This is crowned ducal ware. Ducal ducal ware from the very early 20th century. I did buy it because of the orange color, but the inside of it is also super cool. And it was even cooler that when I saw it, I thought the fish goes this way. I thought the fish was already dead, miserable and unhappy. And that was the selling point for, for me. 
it is old the way it feels you can feel the oldness of the object it does have some crazing and there's definitely age to it all these funky things I found in one shop but after the trip to this shop I went to charity shop in charity shop that day I found only one thing but the thing that I have to show you because it is so obscure so bizarre and so daft that you have to see it now this is a Mexican pottery a turtle with painted lips and wonky eyes Aww. it's marked Mexico it does have some scratches to the paint but I think the face is the selling point I've never seen anything so bizarre so silly looking uncommon animal and that's it some of the things like I said will be listed some of them are already listed some of them won't be listed never ever and some of them might be listed in the future you never know that's why you always have to check the vintage equation all the links will be down below I just saw dust bunnies, dust bunnies. Now they are down there. They moved. Smash that like button. Click the subscribe. Let my business to develop and bring you more stuff. Our vintage community is growing, so I'm very happy to do this more and more and more. <gasps> we'll gather here again very, very soon. And now let's admire the dead fish. And I'll see you next time very soon. The fish of death.